Hello everyone, all the fellow colleagues and students. This is the next lecture on forest resources. Various topics will be covered in this forest resources topic itself. Introduction uses over exploitation of forests, deforestation, causes of deforestation and major consequences of deforestation. Starting with the introduction, the forest word is derived from the Latin word forest means outside. A forest is a natural self-sustaining community characterized by vertical structure created by presence of trees. Trees are large, generally single-stemmed woody plants. Forests, they can exist in many different regions under a wide range of conditions. Forests provide clean water and air, timber for wood products, wildlife habitats, stable soil, recreational opportunities, they beautify the environment, and most importantly, economic resources they are and for producing the marketable timber. Forests are one of the most important natural resources on this earth, covering the earth like a green blanket. These forests not only produce innumerable material goods, but also provide several environmental services, which are essential for life. About one third of the world's land area is forested, which includes closed as well as open forests. In India, forests form 23% of the total land area. Forests are broadly classified into five types when we talk of India. Tropical evergreen forests, tropical deciduous forests, tropical thorn forests, mountain forests, and swamp forests. This is the pictorial presentation of uses of uh, forests. Forests, they can be used in medicines, uh, various forest products. They are used for honey produce, uh, producing, for fruits, gums, lacs, etc. For timber, wood, medicines, chemicals, for recreational purposes, for tourism. So commercial uses of forests, uh, when we talk of commercial uses, forests, they provide us a large number of commercial goods, which include timber, firewood, pulpwood, food items, gum, resins, non-edible oils, rubber, fibers, lac, bamboo canes, fodder, medicine, drugs, and many more items. One third of the wood, which is harvested from forest, it is used for building materials as lumber, plywood, and hardwood particle board and chip board. Many forest lands, they are used for mining, agriculture, grazing and recreation and for development of dams. Various ecological uses of forests, they are production of oxygen. The trees in the forest, they produce oxygen by the process of photosynthesis, which is so vital for life on this earth. So the forests, they are called earth's lungs. Next, they reduce the global warming. The main greenhouse gas, which is carbon dioxide, it is absorbed by the forests as a raw material for photosynthesis. Thus, forest canopy, it acts as a sink for carbon dioxide, thereby reducing the problem of global warming caused by greenhouse gas, that is CO2. Next, forests, they are the habitat for wildlife. Forests, they are home of millions of wild animals and plants. About 7 million species, they are found in the tropical forests alone. Regulation of hydrological cycle is another ecological use of forests. Forested watersheds act like giant sponges, absorbing the rainfall, slowing down the runoff, and slowly releasing the water for recharge of springs. About 50 to 80 percent of the moisture in the air above tropical forests come from their transpiration which helps in bringing rains. Soil conservation, it is another major ecological use. Forests, they bind the soil particles tightly in their roots and prevent soil erosion. They also act as wind breaks. Forests, they are also pollution moderators. Like they can absorb many toxic gases and can help in keeping the air pure. They have also been reported to absorb noise and thus help in preventing air and noise pollution. Next is the over-exploitation of forests. 
since time immemorial humans they have depended heavily on forests for wood for medicine for shelter of wood and for fuel with growing civilization the demands for raw material like timber pulp minerals fuel wood etc it has been shooted up resulting in large scale of logging mining road building and clearing of the forests so our forests contribute substantially to the national economy even next is deforestation in coming slides we will discuss about major causes of deforestation and next the consequences of deforestation first is deforestation it is simply the cutting of trees forests they cover more than 30% of earth's land surface according to world wide life fund that is wwf deforestation it is a permanent removal of trees to make room for something besides forest this can include clearing the land for agriculture or grazing or using the timber for fuel construction or manufacturing deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for other uses such as agricultural croplands urbanization or mining activities greatly accelerated by human activities since 1960 deforestation has been negatively affecting natural ecosystems biodiversity and the climate the un's food and agriculture organization fao it estimates the annual rate of deforestation to be around 1.3 million km square per decade major causes of deforestation they are shifting cultivation fuel requirements raw materials for industrial use development projects growing food needs overgrazing etc so shifting cultivation in india we have this shifting cultivation practice in northeast and to some extent in andhra pradesh bihar and mp which contribute to nearly half of the forest clearing annually this shifting cultivation has been practiced by various cultivators by slash and burn agriculture and they it is supposed to be clearly uh, more than 5 lakh hectare of forests for shifting cultivation annually are being cleared for industrial uses various raw materials are required like uh, wood for uh, making boxes furniture railway slippers plywood mesh boxes pulp for paper industry etc they have exerted tremendous pressure on forests plywood again it is in great demand for packing tea for the industry of uh, assam you can say so this can be the major causes of deforestation various developmental projects like uh, hydroelectric projects big dams road construction mining etc they are also contributing to the uh, consequences of deforestation overgrazing uh, or by cattle leads to further degradation of the plants major consequences of deforestation they are that uh, it threatens the existence of many wildlife species due to destruction of their natural habitat biodiversity is lost and along with that genetic diversity is eroded hydrological cycle gets affected thereby rainfall has been influenced problems of soil erosion has occurred and loss of soil fertility has been increased due to this deforestation in hilly areas deforestation it often leads to landslide major activities in forests they are timber extraction mining etc so timber extraction is uh, used for road construction for making approach to the trees causes further damage to the forest mining operations for extracting minerals and fossil fuels like coal often involves vast forest areas so mining from shallow deposits is done by surface mining while that from deep deposit is is done by subsurface mining mining and its associated activities require removal of vegetation along with underlying soil mantle and overlying rock masses so uh, these all activities they result in defacing the topography and destruction of the landscape in particular areas so this uh, deforestation needs to be converted into 
afforestation so that our forests can be protected so this is all about the forests and various forest resources thank you